Hello, I'm Matt from Wessels Garages, bringing you week eight of my video blog of owning and using a Leaf, the 100% electric car from Nissan. Over the last two months, we've looked at a variety of subjects, um, everything from charging to how much money you can save by owning a Leaf. But this week, I wanted to sort of give you a little bit more insight into the actual car itself. And therefore, I'm gonna give you a guided tour of the Leaf and what it does. Right, let's have a look under the bonnet. Now, I bet you're thinking there'll be nothing here and nothing but fresh air, but you'd be wrong. Ta-da! We have, well, it's not actually an engine because obviously it's an electric car, but in its place, you have this rather big lumpy thing, which is actually the inverter and charger for the car. What's interesting is that great big lump there on the first generation leaves was actually in the rear of the car, taking up valuable boot space and valuable rear legroom. Since they've moved to the front using lightweight alloy materials, it's increased uh, boot space in the back by 40 litres and given you 50 millimetres of legroom in the back also. You'll notice also, like a conventional car, the car's got a battery. It's also got where the screen wash goes. There's even coolant for the radiators, which cool the, the fans for the air conditioning and braking clutch fluid. So it's similar to a normal car, except instead of an engine with oily bits, you've got that instead. Right, well situated directly underneath the bonnet is the charging flap, which can be seen here. You've got two ports here. First one is the charging port for the 50 amp rapid charger as seen at the motorway service stations and at Nissan garages. And to the right, the port to charge the car from home. Now when you buy a Leaf, you get one of these in the boot of the car. And you can see it's a charging socket that plugs into the car like so, and that will plug into a normal three pin socket and you can charge your Leaf in the same way as you would do a mobile phone, it's that simple. They even put it in this cool bag. I'm oh, sorry, that's my lunch. I don't mean that cool bag, I mean this cool bag. And this goes in the boot of the car, allowing you to charge the Leaf wherever you are. Right, let's have a look inside. Now, where have I put those car keys? Um, don't you just hate that? You can never find your car keys? Well, not with a Leaf. This car has keyless entry or keyless go. My keys are in the pocket. I simply approach the car, press this button here, door unlocked and opens, bingo. I lock it, I press the button and walk away. Now that is impressive. Now this comes in very handy when you're approaching your car laden with shopping or carrying heavy items. Now if you had keyless entry, that wouldn't have happened. Once inside, this futuristic dashboard becomes alive at a touch of a button. Even plays a core cool tune as well. And you can even change that too. This dashboard wouldn't look out of place in Back to the Future. Now, for anyone under the age of 25, that's a film. Yeah, you might as well Google it. <clears throat> yeah, I know, I'm showing my age again. But everything is very well clearly laid out. The speedometer is even positioned high so that you've got a good field of vision for the road ahead and you can see directly how fast you're going. And that's very handy in a car that's very quiet. They've also thought about lots of storage areas as well. There's even things like cup holders here in the front that you can stick decent sized bottles in. There's even coin holders and even a nice centre armrest where you can store things like books in. Now that comes in very handy when you're charging your car up. Right, let's move to the back. As we make our way into the rear of the car, we can see there's plenty of legroom for backseat passengers, as can be seen from my glamorous assistant here, Simon. Hello. There's also room for three adults also. It has very much like TARDIS-like proportions. That's the car that is, not, not Simon. As we make our way into the boot of the car, we can see that the Leaf has a very generous boot capacity. In fact, it has 370 litres, which is about the same as a Vauxhall Astra. With the seats folded down, you can certainly fit some bulkier loads, as I'll demonstrate now. Uh, yeah, when I said bulkier, Simon, I didn't mean you. I meant something like some wood or something. Right, well, enough of that. Right, I'm going to do what the Leaf does best of all, and that is I'm going to drive it now. Well, that concludes my guided tour of the Leaf this week. I hope you found it useful. If you'd like a more in-depth look, uh, we have actually a good review of the Leaf on our Wessex Garages YouTube channel. I suggest maybe a good idea to have a look at that. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to be setting off and I'll speak to you next week. Bye for now.